counting stars, they're counting sheep. Peter on the best, don't make a sound. Just keep running and keep running and keep running. In our heads, we're ten feet off the ground. Just keep running and keep running. Keep running.
Hello, everybody. My name is HSC Elijah, aka Squid. Welcome to the High School Esports League Fall 2017 Majors Round 11, the second to last round. Today is Wednesday, my dudes. So, you know what that means? It's the default day for Counter Strike Global Offensive, and we got a pretty great match coming up for you right now AES HS Patriots versus PLS HS Titans. And I'm joined today by Brennan. How you doing, Brennan? Pretty good, pretty good. Um, we finally made it. Uh, we actually had a dorm uh, recently burn pretty much to the ground. Massive damage. I actually had to disconnect our internet. Um, and it finally just came back on about five minutes ago. But yeah, we are being get good. We are going to be getting right into this game. Knife round, Titans versus Patriots. Like, well, I just said, this is the second to last round. So these teams are really fighting as much as they can. And it looks like we are going to be seeing a pretty even matchup. Trades all around, but it looks like the Patriots are going to pick up this knife round. And um, knowing the way these tournaments go in HSEL, we're mostly going to be a CT switch, which is exactly what we have. And that's going to be Titans starting on the CT side. And Brennan, I just want to ask you a question real quick. Uh, did you notice what I had my boys meme you as soon as uh, you joined the server? Did you notice that? Yeah, you see, um, yeah. Uh and my boys, yeah. Mimi. I'll, I'll actually, I'll actually scroll up in chat so that stream yeah. you guys can see it. I had, yeah, yeah. I, I, ha I had all the players. Um, you know when Brennan joined, ask him, ask him what took him so long. You know what, what took him so long? As Brennan said though, he had a little bit of an internet fire, issue. Lot, lot fire, heat, burn, flames. Yeah, sorry, I. <laughs> yeah, sorry, he played his mixtape too loud. So. That's right. Tweeted and they got one like. It was great. <laughs> And uh, real quick, before the game starts here, as we uh, make sure that these teams know that they have to run it up again, uh, actually, I want to point something out. Uh, recently, thanks to your guys' support, we passed a subscriber goal on Twitch, uh, and we're in the process of adding three new emotes uh, and one new higher tier emote, or one or two higher tier emotes, I don't know. Currently, the one we have uploaded now is VESN DAB, if you're a frequent to the yeah, HSEL, if you're frequent to the HSEL server, you'll know this emote. So, but unfortunately, now you have to be, a, or fortunately, you now have to be a subscriber to use that emote now. <laughs> it's very, it's it's a good emote. I I, don't, I can't use it anymore. I'm a poor college student, so I can't really afford it anymore. I mean, I am, but I still have a subscription. Yeah, yeah I can't anymore, but we are getting <laughs> right into the match here. ASHS Patriots versus PLSHS Titans. Live round one on Mirage here. Round one of round 11. To confuse everybody out there. Uh, but yeah, round, round one, one, one. Yeah, round one. It's a, it's a whole bunch of ones. Coming into round one, this is the pistol round. Uh, we are going to be seeing three pieces of armor on some CTs. Um, a little bit of utility, but not much. A smoke on a hero and a flash on Nick. Uh, Dreams has a decoy. I'm not sure why. I mean, they can be useful somewhat. But looking at the Titans, who are currently walking down into the mid-area, it is... Uh, lots of utility. Two flashes of smoke and HE and then three pieces of armor on the remaining players. The smoke coming out. Looks like that's going to be smoking... What is that smoking? What is that smoke? Connector area. Oh, Sarah's jungle -ish. I didn't know that smoke. That's cool. Yeah, it's oh, just like an all-around purpose smoke. Yeah, all boosting up. They're going to catch Rohan from behind. That's Rohan going down. And they're wrapping around the B. What is this play? We have not seen this in HCL, at least on stream before. And they're going to be able to get... Un as I say that, though, Yug gets a kill, traded out. That's going to be two kills for the T's. And they have a 4-2 to two advantage, taking this B site from underpass to mid the window to market. I've never seen a snake with a good headshot on to... Uh, what is that name? Absolute. 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 And, um, yeah, right now it does look like it could be either one's round. There's another comeback right now. Dream's getting another kill. All left to freeze. Who's sitting up on the van position. He has the plant. They know where he is. That's gonna be it. Beautiful shots so far. I'm I'm very confident this is gonna be an incredible game. This all players from what I saw that round are really on point, but it's just pistols and it's the SPS mostly Glocks, so it's headhunters. Oh, we'll see yeah. how they are with the rifles later. You know, a strong showing from the CTs and maybe even I'd say a bit of a weak performance in this pistol round towards the end from the T's. You know, they started out very strong, getting a few opening picks onto that site, making a four versus two, but they ended up losing that out to the two CTs who are pushing in, even though they knew exactly where they were. So it's going to be interesting to see how this round goes. It definitely looks pretty even across the board right now, although we are seeing mistakes from both teams. Pistols on the T's for this round. 
GTs aren't really uh, pushed up anywhere, or they are. They kind of have. Uh, no need to. Yeah, they don't. They don't. They've got the control that they need here. They're in some pretty great positions. They can really do whatever they want. The bomb is towards a ramp here. It looks like it is going to get picked up and make its way towards there. Slowly going to make their way over to a site. Lewis, I believe, was just saw seen. Definitely seen by Nick. They know where the bomb is. Dreams gets taken out by High, but Rohan trading out. I'm just done. And High getting a double kill there onto Rohan. Nick picking up Aperture. Or Absolute, not Aperture. Nick still knows Lewis is there. He peeks him. Nearly gets caught out. But he also knows that one's in jungle now as well. Sees Lewis. Tries to go for the shot and goes back on default. Here's go picking up Freeze, and Nick is putting pressure on the bomber here. Lewis. Hero Skill is going to get killed on the high. Lewis last alive with the bomb in T spawn here. He's going to have to pull something out here because Ya and Hero Skill are making their way towards the A site to defend that bomb site. Nick nearly catching out Lewis, but. Able, Lewis able to pick up the kill, picks up the deagle now, maybe gets another kill. Damage done to Yaw here, could Lewis get the kill? A lot of damage done, Yaw down to 7 health, like the bomb is going to be going down, and he's going to get immediately traded out by Yaw, 2-0 AESHS. Yeah, good attempt from Titans, despite being on pistols, they were able to get 3 kills, almost the 4th there. Pushing the site, they got the bomb down, they did, a, they did exactly what they needed to do, and now they all are... 5k or above, with the exception of I'm just done, he's at 43.50, but they all should be able to buy into this round. And AWP actually coming out from Absolute, full armor, full utility, so this is going to be our first gun round coming into round number 3 here. And yeah, uh, rightly so, they have run the won the first two rounds, and pretty significantly, it wasn't just like a bomb defusal, it was 5 kills uh, and 1 bomb defusal, so that's a lot of money coming into the third round here, which allows them to buy these full weapons, full utility, full armor, and even 4 kits. Yeah, four kits on the CTs. Um, you know, not necessarily the best investment. You could get away with doing one on one on mid, one on site, one on the other side, or even two on a site. But otherwise, they're not inexpensive. They have the money for it. So full buys on both these teams. No kill. Sorry, there is a kill. Freeze going down earlier in the round. So making the five versus four early for the CTs before push comes out. These teams firing through each other through the box. Actually, a little bit of damage being done to high. Dropped down to A9 HP, and the push yet ha has yet to come out so far. The bomb playing back, and they are slowly but surely pushing through the apps. The scout on you holding them back. I'm not sure if they know it's a scout or an op yet, but it's going to be a fallback and a great pick from Absolute, although Yo is getting one for himself. That scout, good angle from Absolute. Going to pull back in the end, and that's going to allow Yo to push up and get a kill. But great shot from I'm Just Done. Two versus three. I'm just done going down all to absolute with the AWP, and this is most likely going to be a save with the one player left alive, and that's exactly what it's going to be. Absolute abandoning the bomb, abandoning the site, and running back to attempt to save his AWP into the next round. Patriots were able to do so much without actually two of their players, as we saw Dreams and Nick actually remained on a site for a little while. While the Titans were pushing out onto site there with that initial, you know, that little initial push we saw. So they were able to accomplish a great deal with just three player. Ya, yeah, I believe, picked up two scout headshots, which is really impressive, especially in that tight corner there that he had where he was watching apartments from bench with the scout. So that was pretty impressive. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm very I'm confident not... this going to be a good game. So. Oh, no, no. This should be a fantastic game. Patriots showing up fan a beautiful defense. So, I, mean, I feel like if Titans were just getting a bit more aggressive, they'd start to pull into these rounds. Um, I... Not sure what happened with that scout, though, and that push. We did see Titans holding back a bit and really hesitant to push out. I'm not sure if they thought it was an AWP or if they were just scared of it, but they were really hesitant to push out. And they actually allowed one to rotate to the B site to have those three men on the site. And I'm not, I don't know. I think if they pushed out in that round, they would have had it. Uh, we are going to be seeing a bit of a semi-buy. They bought a round that off. Uh, so UMP, a Deagle, a CZ. A bunch of utility, armor on three players. So they do definitely have a chance in this round, although it's going to be very hard to pull out with only the AWP and the UMP. CZ could do some damage, but we have full head gear on all players of Patriots, along with two AKs, two M4s, and an op. Saw so, uh, a little skirmish there, actually. Lewis was getting sprayed through the wall in B apartments there. 
Let's look at that 16 points of damage, but they know they're there, definitely. They know there's at least two players there. I believe they heard their footsteps, and they were getting, and Yell was actually getting shot at earlier, even though all the shots whiffed on him. We see Absolute actually holding this angle, waiting for the smoke to clear so that he can get the pick on Ya, who will most certainly be at bench. Yeah, and he knows he keeps jumping back up onto his van position of Flash. Is going to hopefully cause Absolute to come back high, getting a good pick on the Nick. Um, I'm not sure where it was. I was. I've been watching his absolute battle, but that's a good pick. And I actually pick up another one, Rohan. He now is in that AK in his hands, and this could go completely different now in this round. Jumping on the side, one on bench. Yo, getting one. They're not able to connect a second kill. That's going to be a four versus one now. Your skill, the only player left on cap versus this AWP. He may elect to save or flash himself into the site. He definitely has a reason to save. Their money is very low. 500 on hero skill. And only two players above 1,000 and one player above 2,000. That's going to be, yeah, 2,600. So this is definitely going to be a round where we're going to want to be seeing hero skill save. And this is exactly what we're seeing on Cat, though, is Freeze. It's, if he hears him jump down, if he spots him out, this could be the loss of the rifle. It looks like hero skill is going to hold up on the cinder box for the end of this round. Smart play. Although this could be a push coming through here. Nope. High is going to rotate through. CT, and that's going to be Patriots holding on to the single rifle as Titans pick up the first round of the game. I like the little split push that High did before. He rushed through Connector, picking up a kill on Nick, I believe it was, and then running through Jungle into Nest to pick up that, I believe it was Rohan, to pick up the kill and get the AWP, which really helped in that round, because not only did they essentially clear out the A site, they got themselves a rifle and allowed their team to push on to B pretty much unopposed. Well, I was talking, actually. Yeah, you know, I believe that was Absolute gets a pick on Rohan there. Was was that Absolute or was that um, high? I believe it was Absolute. I, I, I wasn't really paying attention myself. Um, but I believe it was Absolute who was able to get that kill. Maybe, maybe not, actually. High currently sitting on 7. It could have been him. I believe it may have been high, actually. So we are going to be, regardless, that's a pick, making it a five versus four. The push coming out onto A. No kills on either side. Freeze picking up one as Nick is failing to pick up one of his, I believe that's a CZ or an SMG. And this is just full force domination from Titans. Not a single player going down yet. Lewis low, although not going down without a fight. Still at 32 HP, two CTs left. And CZ and a Deagle could do some decent damage, although right now it looks like this is probably going to be Titans round, unless Patriots can pick up a miracle. They're going to spot out Hero and CT, causing him to fall back as an AWP is going to be training on his position. Lewis almost reloaded at the wrong time, or he, he almost reloaded at the wrong time there. I don't know if you saw that. He began to reload right as Ya turned the corner, which gave him a fright, though, so. The question is going to be, are they going to check this corner? They will, and they're going to spot out Hero. That's going to be everybody but Ya going down. That's going to be another rifle save, though. We've been able to see these CTs holding on to these rifles throughout the round, um, rounds that they're losing and vice versa. So we are seeing firepower transitioning into each round, although it's not proving to be enough for these CTs in these past couple rounds. Two to three, Titans starting to pull it back. And it's going to be a pretty much a full save. Only one player buying. That's going to be Dream picking up the Deagle. Y'all picking up uh, nothing new. Whatever he had in the last round, that's going to be the AK and the headgear. Along with Nick, he's able to save. He's going to drop down. Lewis getting caught off guard, rushing through the smoke. Not sure exactly what that play was. Maybe not expecting the AK to be there, hoping to run into some pistols. Uh, but that's going to be a free pick for the side of the Titans. That's going to give a Deagle, only a Deagle, actually. I just realized that. He, Lewis only had a Deagle in that round. There was no gun dropped in that mid position. Uh, not sure exactly why that was, but we are going to be seeing a push coming out uncontested, pretty much uncontested, into this. So, and we're having Freeze wrapping around behind. He's not going to be spotted out. Hero may hear him there, but I don't believe he will. And he should be able to catch out at least one. The timing, though. Nobody spotting him. This question is going to be, did they hear him running around in there? Dream's looking the wrong way. And he needs to be looking the right direction. He's going to hear him. He's going to give him away. Almost gets the second one. He does not know this man is at bench, though. He's going to get shot in the back once. Turns the wrong direction. That's going to be Freeze going down. All to absolute this AWP. Definitely doable. He's looking the wrong direction, though. And now there is a gun in the hands of Nick. He spots at the leg. He misses the shot. 
and that's going to be Nick Pick of the Kill in the absolute four to two. Patriots pick up another round. I like the I like the passive play there by PLSHS, uh, except for I believe it was Lewis who rushed a smoke through a connector. I guess he was hoping to get a a pick there, but I'm not sure. They played pretty well. They actually. Kind of held, I guess, I, maybe it was strategic, uh, Lewis rush connector to make them think that they were in mid, because the entirety of the Patriots were on A, so it allowed the rest of the Titans to get on to, into B apartments and take the site. Yeah, but was it worth giving away a player at the expense of a rotation? I think they would have been done much better if they had just allowed that, not just ran in there, at least tried to do something where he could get a kill coming up through main or... And they're getting caught off guard again, absolutely with a nade out. Nick jumping up, great play from him. I'm just done. Gonna try to peek out and get the kill. He's gonna do it before the Molly catches him. So it's gonna be equalized. Four versus four, guns on both sides. And the rotation is gonna start to come out towards A, despite no bomb being seen. That's gonna be correct though. The bomb pushing out through A main right now, or A ramp, sorry. Great shot from Freeze, flicking up 90 degrees to get the kill. And that's gonna be high following up on Rohan. Player in CT, flashing, rushing to the smoke, everybody's flashed! Lewis getting a good headshot on to Ya. Yeah, both of them flashed in that smoke there. All up to Hero Skill for 7 4. Great play from Titans in this round. And now they're closing in on Hero Skill. They know where he is. They've got a player in CT waiting for him. They got one right outside of jungle, one on site, of course, and one in mid. Anywhere he goes, he's in trouble at this point. Yeah, he's really just going to have to hold this position here. Hope he can get this pick onto the man in TT. He's going to be able to. Now, he could escape here if he goes now, but they're going to be rushing. This is going to be the end. And high picks up the kill. Four to, I believe, was it four now? Four to three. As the game really back and forth at this point. Four to three. Titans pick up another round. And if you look at the scoreboard here, it is pretty much back and forth. First, first three rounds going to the to the Patriots, the next two going to Titans, and then alternating Patriots and Titans in the following two rounds. So this is really a back and forth, and we should see a very good game coming up ahead of us, hopefully double digits on both sides. And we actually have some very well-performing players so far. High on Titans is performing exceptional, and then Young on the Patriots as well. Both those players are playing very strongly this game. It's yeah, pretty good. We are seeing decent play all across the board so far. Nobody with zero kills. We have just a couple weak links on the CT side right now, although I say that when we're only seven rounds in. And so it's really hard to tell if anybody's really not having an impact. I can say that. Trades coming out from both teams. Nick getting a good headshot on the Andres Zun, although with armor, it's not going to fish him off. 14 HP. He could get the kill. He's going to miss a shot, although that off is dangerous. One shot, one kill. Easy land at first. He lands another one. 3 HP. I'm on just done. He picks up the AK. He should be able to spray it. That's going to be the kill. 3 versus 1 now. And that's going to be Freeze getting the first kill. He needs to find two more in this round. And up on Nick. Should allow him to jump out the window. He's not going to do so. They're going to train all eyes on that window now. Bottom out. Voltov blocking his escape. He wants this round, though. Botched Flash is going to cause a smoke to come out. Interesting play to let him cross the... Op flash? Not gonna find anybody, although we're gonna have the op trained on. He's gonna miss the shot. If he doesn't turn his back, he could not find the man at bench. He's gonna get covered though. Bench holding his own, electing to maybe let that teammate die. He spots him out. He's gonna miss the shot again. He's advancing quickly. His teammate needs to come help him, or else this could end very badly. I don't know exactly what was going on there, but Nick finally picking up the kill, and I don't know who was there with him, but somebody. Whoever was on bench there was just sitting there letting him take this fight instead of shooting him in the back. Not sure exactly what the play was there from the CTs. That player on bench was Dreams, actually, and I think there's probably some little bit of strategy there if he didn't make himself known, because you figure any good any teammate wouldn't let his teammate die just for nothing. So he was just holding bench in the event that Nick did in fact die, so that he would be go unnoticed and be able to take the site. Rohan getting a double kill, but Freeze trading him out, and then Dreams trading out high now. It's suddenly down to a 4v2. 4v1 now as Dream picks up Freeze, and I'm just done last alive here with a just a deagle. He probably won't be able to do much against these rifles that are trained on him in Hero Skill, who's now going behind in T-Spawn. But this was a save round 
it looks like for Titans, no players had anything more than a pistol or a Mac Ten. So even though yeah, even though they have about well, maybe maybe they were just trying to all get on board with uh, Lewis not having enough money because you know if they all bought that round, probably. Lewis would probably have maybe be the weak link there or something. So maybe they're all trying to get on the same page, or maybe they're just trying to save for some like super buy next round or something like that. Brennan, your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> so I was reading uh, something else, but. I don't know. Uh, I haven't really been paying attention, but the last few rounds, I have noticed that Lewis has been very far off with the economy. I'm not sure if he forced in a round that we didn't catch or something, but he's, his economy has been very far off and definitely been throwing the team off in these buy rounds. We are going to be seeing everybody buy, but again, look at Lewis. He's on a Mac 10. Huh. I'm not sure what's going on there. Weird. Yeah, you're right. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. Nick picking up a kill on two... Absolute there in Absolute. top mid. Actually, picking Nick through the wall there down to 58 HP. He's got to be angry about that. But um, Lewis working his way up, hoping to be able to grab that AWP. I'm not sure if that op was just launched from the nade. It was not Lewis is able to acquire all the dreams, pushing fast, hoping to shut that down. Running right into Lewis, who's not sure what. All right, dreams goes down, not able to do any damage to. We want to. Um, I want to point out real quick. Um, I believe it, it was Freeze who got the kill through the wall at B onto Hero Skill, just spraying through the wall. Got the headshot. I was not watching out. I was watching the engagement in mid, but that's um interesting. And Young gonna get another headshot to high there. And that's gonna make it a three versus three. Guns on a both side. A scout in AWP and an M4 versus an AWP and two AKs. In terms of firepower, this is in favor of the CT. Sorry, the T's. Now it's going to be the two long guns. Man, CT. That's going to be Nick. Is going to be pinned down long enough by Lewis to get that bomb down. And we're going to be seeing the retake coming out again. This is two long guns. Lewis spots out the man in mid, so we're going to know he's there. And they know the man does. CT. Lewis not able to connect these shots though. That is three missed shots. Finally picks up the kill on the young. Now it's all to Nick with the off. Do they? Do they really know though? Because I think no, Lewis is just Lewis, kind of. A... Lewis, Lewis spotted them before. He spotted him. Okay, I thought he was just throwing grenades in anticipation no, of him Lewis, being there. Um, Lewis was playing uh, deep in CT, and he um, shot uh, him to hold it back and fell back. Okay, they knew okay. he was there, so I think he failed to be able to watch jungle and CT because he didn't know where he was going to go. But they definitely knew that's where he was coming from. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Ya is actually confused. Yeah, Ya did kill a guy in apartments, I believe. Well, he was, he was looking, we saw there uh, at the end of the round, he was looking for it right before he rotated through mid. Yeah, did somebody pick that up? Because they all had guns. Lewis picked up the op in mid. I don't know where it would have gone, unless one grabbed it. Told him. Not entirely sure there, but we did miss, sorry, Rohan, we missed your 1D on too high there to open up the round. So, I think it was a 1D. I just saw a D going a headshot in the kill speed. I'll assume it's a 1D for you. <laughs> yeah, that is going to be an early advantage for the CTs, though. 5 what? versus 4. Not sure why Rohan's on the Deagle. He might get another one. He might get another one 1D. Oh, just barely misses it. When yeah, actually... Did he take it? Oh, he, I think he did have a little skirmish in mid. Lost some health there. Seeing yeah, Lewis I... pushed up in apartments here. Takes out, yeah, and he's going back. Looks like he was just looking for the Hero kill. Hero skill is still there. Kind of split right now, but it looks like the Titans are beginning to rotate towards B. Two players in the connector area on A. Dreams watching lower connector, and Rohan himself still on stairs with that deagle. He hasn't elected to go pick up the gun from the guy that he killed over at ramp, however. And now, I think, did Rohan hear? Yeah, Rohan definitely heard them mid. There, he hears the guy jumping now, at least. Whiffs the shots. Lewis picking up the kill on Rohan here. Now, Dreams is stuck in mid, but he's going to have a player coming behind him. He gets the first kill. I'm um, Justice trades out Nick and oh. Ken Lewis. Lewis does get the kill through the wall onto Dreams, leading Hero Scale. Yeah, 200 the IQ play there, except for that. Uh, yeah, 200, like, <laughs> 200 IQ play, not going through the peak around the wall. Sprays do it to finish him off. They know where exactly where Hero Skill is. It's not going to be an issue. And that's going to be round number five, six to five now. Again, keeping it close, back 
to back rounds. These are just alternating every one or two rounds this entire game. Yeah, they've just been trading rounds back and forth. That's what really what you like to see because it's like it's like you know you don't have one team with like a huge lead and the other team has to play catch up. It's like you know trading back and forth till it gets down to the wire, and that's how you know it's a very good match here. Actually, looking at the Patriots, their economy's not doing so hot. They've got players with $2,300, so that's enough for SMGs, but they are looking to do the full save here. And by full save, I mean full save. Not the silver full save, the full save. They have absolutely nothing, just the USPs. They are picking up stuff along the way as Rohan picks up a kill. They have an AK now. Nick has an AK. And the MAC-10... Actually, whoa, would you look at this? Titans are losing the rounds now. They have one player left. Freeze last alive in a ramp. Wow. Wow, just, yeah, just slaughtered by those, that full eco buy. That's going to hurt. Hopefully they don't, don't know that was just a full eco, no armor, nothing. That's going to be... But that is definitely That's going to give saving to their morale if they, they do now because they just got destroyed in A. They had a full push, they had guns, they had armor over them, they had utility, and they just got absolutely demolished. The single gun being able to be picked up from the CTs and absolute devastation. And Yug getting two ops in mid and high almost being the next victim. And he is gonna be the next victim. High with three out of five so far. Oh Four if you Oh, the ace! Yeah. Ace in mid, just uncontested, one after the other, picking off T's in mid. Twitch, no, Twitch chat, clip ends. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Twitch chat, get that. Get all of it. That was incredible. That, that was actually insane from Yo there. He was in just the right position. In the beginning of the round, it looks like it looked like he was going to get caught out as the entire you know, the Titans rushed out onto him. You could see a little bit. His hand was a little shaky with some of his flicks. He was deciding, I guess, who to aim at. But he pulled through and that incredible op ace there. Double scoped, might I add. Yeah, that was very, very nice. I actually was not watching him from his POV. I was watching the player. Uh, push up through mid, but still, an uh, op ace in mid is not something you see every day. And it was a beautiful one, not taking any damage at all, I believe. Now it's going to be four deagles and a P250 on the side of Titans. They spotted a hero skill. They know he dropped down. So at least that's some information. They know there's another player spot, uh, spraying through the woods. They know there's at least two on this B site. They're going to spot out one. Spotting out two. They know where these two players are. Early kill on the absolutes for some reason taking point running out. Hero skill with a triple spray. Finally getting traded out by high though. Now it's a 2v3 here. Now traded down to a 2v2 pistols versus rifles here. Titans could actually do what Patriots did to them just two rounds prior here and wipe them with just the pistols. This could be good pretty good here. Dreams is going to take out High, leaving Freeze last live, who does get taken out by Dreams again. The CTs will get the defuse here, making it 9-5 as we come into the 15th round of the first half, last round of the first half. Get into the second half of the match. Brennan, what do you think? We'll see. Right now, 9-5, it's a pretty standard scoreline. Both these teams are doing very well. Looking at the stats, it is... I stacked a little bit in the favor of Patriots um, stat-wise. They are on CT. It is a CT side of the map, so it is expected that they'd be up in the, at this point about at the rounds they're at, but Titans are starting to fall behind. We are seeing them on another gun round. They're really going to want to get this round to make it 9-6 to six to have a relatively easy side on the second half, although they could definitely survive with only 5-10 to 10 now, although it's going to be risky. Ooh, actually, I'm just done getting hit down to 23 by, I believe that was, yeah, that was Rohan spraying through apartment for smoke and apartments here. That early damage is incredibly good. Actually, got taken out a 19 through a grenade. Absolute taking out dreams in mid there. Now he's control of cat. Looks like the bomb. Actually, it's going backwards through apartments, but they are going to meet Nick in T-Spawn, who does get one kill onto Lewis, but gets traded out by Freeze there. They see the bomb. High picking up a kill on Rohan. Now a 4v2 here. They have to decide where they want to go. The bomb is going to make its way back towards apartments. There still is a hero skill in the exit of apps here. Is going to find High in arches, and he is going to see... I'm just in the corner of his eye here. All that off to apartments... 
Freeze killing himself in a Molotov, that looks like. Did he just 1G himself? Some, uh, yeah, that's going to be some 1Gs in the chat. That is, yeah, running straight into it. And now you yeah, actually seeing the barrel of the gun of I'm just done and getting him through the wall. One versus one now. They don't know where each other are, I don't believe. Hero Skills just waiting for the plant. Oh, he's going to have to go up and apps and get it. Walking around, he's going to spot him out, and that's going to be Absolute getting the kill. Patriots, nine rounds up on Titans, six. Titans pick up the last round of this half as we switch sides. Titans joining the CT side, and Patriots will play as the T's. This is going to be an interesting game. Nine to six, standard score line for this uh, Matt, this is the this is the score that pe people suggest you need to get. This is the score that you want to aim for if you're on this map for the first half. Six let's actually pick up round nine. Six let's actually round for the T's. I'm sorry. Let's actually take a look at the scoreboard here really quickly. Hi on the Titan side, coming with that 14 kills. Tom Fragging, he has been doing pretty well this game so far. Freeze with 10, an absolute 12. Actually, no, switch those because. I guess we're going in order of frags here. Absolute with the 12 frags. Freeze with 10. Then Lewis and I'm just done there. 8 and 5. Not too bad, but as you're saying, Brennan, maybe a little bit of weak links. Maybe they've got a couple more rounds, but it doesn't matter. As you said, the scoreline is what they need here. This 9-6. And over on the Patriots side, yeah, with the 16 kills. Nick with 13. Hero skill with 10. And then Dreams and Rohan each with 9. So... Yeah, these players, um, you know, we are seeing a bit of a weak performance down the bottom of the Titans, but nonetheless, they are pulling their weight as much as they really need to be doing right now. Again, six rounds, you don't need too many, too much more than that. It's always nice to have more, but it's really not required that you run away with more than six rounds on the T side uh, to have a chance in this. And we definitely do have quite a good chance. Both these teams really trading off in this game, you look at the scoreboard, it is completely back and forth for the most part. Um, Patriots pulling ahead with those three rounds towards the end of this half, but other than that, trades across the board. Yeah, and as we do get into the second half of round of our first round 11 CSGO game for the night, thank you, we want to thank you all for watching so far and continue to watch as we get into this next game here. Seeing pretty standard... Standard buy from the T's here with armor, some utility, some utility, a little bit of utility on the Titan side as well, but freeze. Oh, nope. Everyone's bought something, it looks like, on the Titan side. Thought they yeah, were... it looks like it's all going to be, they've been, looks like this is about the same as what they did in the last, um, in the last half, I should say, in their pistol round. Uh, they were the ones to have little utility, a little bit of armor, and I believe they had a bit of firepower, so this is, um... Pretty much the same thing that they, they did last time. Oh no, sorry, it's not. It was vice versa. Uh, they had lots of utility on their T side, and right now it's working out for them so far. Two kills. Dreams Ooh. actually getting a TK on the Yug. That's going to be the bomb drop down as well. That is a big mistake, and Yug going down to one of the C. Oh, sorry, Dreams and Rohan going down. Oh my, I'm, I'm losing it. Nick getting killed on the I'm just done. That sort of equalizes the game as Lewis is down to 10 HP, although it may not be enough as High picks up one more on the Nick and they know exactly where Dreams is. Yeah, and that's an awful position for the bomb there. If you see that in the little, uh, yeah, I guess, right. yeah, it's right at the corner there. You have to go out there. You have to completely expose yourself to get that bomb. Looks like they are barely going to get it, but yeah, the Hero Skull is going to get the bomb. He has to run out, though. But they've equalized it down to a 2v2 now. It is going to come up to just frags high as over near Arches and freezes on site here. Bomb in a truck right now. Here's Skill is having a little skirmish with Freeze there. High, though, going to pick up Dreams and Freeze. Similarly going to take out Hero Skill. LSHS Titans take another round, making the score 9-7. Winning the first round on CT yeah, side. Here. Hero skills struggling a bit in that round, not able to really think of anything. Unloading, I believe, two clips without a single kill uh, from relatively close range. So he was struggling in that round. Good attempt from Patriots. That team kill set them back so much on that round, and that really gave away the round. Nine to seven as Titans start to bring back this round, this game, I should say. And it looks like the Patriots are going to opt to make their way towards a site. Only one player at top mid anywhere else then. Ooh, yeah, actually, you're yeah, getting in a little bit of a fight here. But Freeze is in a pretty good position here. He's got an MP9 trained on a ramp here where both, where three players are. 
on the Patriots here. They haven't decided to push yet. They are just kind of holding back here, rightly so. Got to wait for Ya to get back with the team, I think, where they make their push here. They do yeah, have Lewis, yeah. who is... Ooh, Lewis spots out Dream's leg, I believe. Maybe not. Free is getting a kill onto Nick here. An absolute getting a kill onto Ya. Absolutely getting a double kill, actually. Free is trying to take a Rohan, barely missing, but High will finally get him, and Dreams will take trade out High. Absolute picking up his third kill for the round to win it for the Titans. 9-8 yes. now. AS, AHS are still in the lead, but not very much. As we come into the third round of the second half, this is a gun round, it looks like. Yeah, not and Freeze there was actually... No, no, looks like they're going to save, but Freeze... We got actually stuck on the ladder under scaffolding and he couldn't move. He was getting he was bouncing up and down. He was looking back, uh, getting a bit frustrated at it. But looks like we are gonna have a pretty quick Zuka push with these pistols. That's gonna be an absolute slaughter though, as I'm just done picks up three. Dreams finishing them off a little high is gonna pick up one more. It's all gonna be up to Dreams. Left on that van position. Picking up one more. He's doing his work, although absolute with that scout. He's been on fire with that thing this game. He's gonna get one more kill with it. Yeah, absolute. I think let's see. I think the snipers for both teams are absolute and yeah. Both of them have been done pretty well this this game so far, uh, and both of them are pretty high on their respective team scoreboards as well. So, and this that and that sniper does do a lot of work here. Yeah, these snipers, especially on this map, make a massive difference. Every single site has one or more positions that you can make a big impact from with an AWP on B and off and pretty much any position can make a difference. A on both teams again in mid it's crucial. Nick getting a kill in mid with that AK actually dropping down absolute who was on the AWP a great shot from him. Four versus five now. A bit of a weak firepower on Titans as we have high on that French gun, the FAMAS. But it is still a rifle so it could do some decent damage if he gets a drop on him. Versus these five eight Ks, they're gonna spot him out there. They know he's on cap. And that Molly's gonna prevent him from pushing up. Ooh, the fake flash with the bomb. It looks like. Uh. <laughs> I think I think I that was an attempt by um by Nick to throw the bomb to Dreams actually, but um it went a little bit far there. Uh, and now High has complete view of the bomb. Yeah, that bomb's not gonna be very easy for them to get now that it's stuck on cat i think they might have just real yeah they might have i think they just realized what happened so i also i also i also get i also entirely get why they saved last round it's because this is the rounds that patriots have their guns so they wanted to save their money for their full rifles this round they knew that they were only gonna have pistols last round they didn't want to lose any of those expensive rifles so titans will pick up 10th round here taking the lead for the first time in a while um actually for the first time this game they are in the lead so starting yeah, to yeah, they are starting to go well for them they are pulling back that's four rounds in a row they are pulling away on this ct half and we are going to be seeing another save coming out from patriots a big mistake from them it turns out to be in that previous round throwing that bomb basically giving them the gift it's an early christmas present for the Titans, just giving them the bomb, allowing them to sit back in mid and just know exactly where it is. They don't need to worry about it. And he pushed on the sites. They have the information they need. And they said to surround that bomb, make sure they didn't get picked off. That's exactly what they did. Most of the players in the Patriots are actually pushed up in Palace here. The four are really, really close here with those pistols. It looks like they're going to just kind of try and waterfall out, maybe get a couple picks. And most of them, there aren't any close players for them to get. Maybe they'll be able to pick up Freeze. Probably not Lewis, though. Curious to see what's happened here as they wait for everything to happen. No one's really arming any grenades, so maybe they're just waiting for time to come out. It looks like that's what they were doing. They're going to start rushing out on sight. Hero skill will pick up Freeze here. They know they're there. Lewis almost getting caught out, but he's going to do a bit of damage before he dies. Freeze as well, actually. I think Freeze took, took out a lot of people there. I'm just done getting the kill onto Nick here. 4v4, the bomb has been planted. Two are firebox here. Lewis sees their heads, but he does get... He does get the kill on Dreams, though, but Yo will trade him out. Yo with a double kill. Hi, though, trading out. Yo. And now Hero Skill getting caught in a firefight here while Rohan. Actually, where is Rotan? Where's Rohan? Is he dead? He oh, no, he's in Firebox. 
Wow, he he gets the final kill. Don't know why he didn't check firebox. I, I assume it's because he... Well, they had, they had it, two players there, and they killed one, so they assumed it was clear. Um, and yeah. And Rohan just sat there and didn't peek out because they knew he knew that his teammate had already died at firebox, so they would assume that it's clear. So he just sat there, but CZ had and hoped that they would to check it. That's exactly what happened, and that allowed them to equalize the round 10 to 10 now. The oh, definition of 200 IQ players, Brennan. Look at this stack on the A site with these pistols. They are electing to hope that these players go towards the A site. And the bomb's actually going to be spawned out here. Look at this. Walking towards the A. They're going to run into all the CTs. They spawn out. Now they have bomb control with an AK. Suddenly, this could be in the favor of the CTs. Yeah, but at the same time, Patriots could just rush the connector like they are starting to do now. High whiffing the shots and Nick picking up the kill here. I'm just done. Has a chance yeah, to trade him out. Well. Yeah, I, I mean it. You have the corners, but yeah, but they don't really. They don't have. They don't have head armor. They barely have armor. I mean, one headshot, they're done anyway. But they just have to try and hold Lewis picking up Nick. Now it's a suddenly three v three, but they know they're there. The bomb is going to get picked all up. Flashed, all except for one. Sorry. Yeah, they uh, they are going to pick up the bomb and run away. Looks like Yo is going to try and go behind them, maybe try and get a pick here. He might be able to find Freeze if Freeze peeks here. As uh, as Rohan makes his way towards B site, and we even have Dreams sitting up in Nest here, waiting for those players to go through CT or through Connector and maybe try and kill him. He hears I'm just done, sees him, whiffs the shots though. They know he's in Nest though, as Rohan will get the plant here, and Yell gets found out in Palace. But luckily there's... <laughs> Yeah, the bomb is going to go down, it looks like. I'm just on, on site. Maybe Rohan might be able to get the pick. No, he won't, though, because I'm just on oh, mind. Yeah, but now Dreams has the angle on the bomb here. It gets one kill on the loose with a spray through window, but they know where he is. I'm just on knows exactly where he is. He's just got to so wait well. for his teammate to get onto the side. He does seem to be freeze. Missing the shots. Dreams now down to 21 health. He saw him. He saw him, but he didn't peek it. He knows he's pushing now. Yeah, it looks like he's he not gonna be able to get the defuse. He doesn't have it. He took his time. Freeze. He's just gonna he's try and get the kill, that. I think, maybe. But he won't he's be able to find it. He's dying. Huge mistake. Freeze there. I think he's just he trying to go for the kill, not for the keeping the AK. Because I think he was already down low, wasn't he? Was he already down low? Yeah, but freeze. He, he was, but he saw him multiple times in that window. He's the only player he's looking for, and he just. Big, big mistake, I would say, on the part of Freeze there. You know, not going... He needed to be able to push up there. He knew he didn't have to get... He needed to push up, get that kill, or shoot him when he saw him. He whiffed the shots when he did see him standing still. Uh, big, big mistake there. Uh, lots of damage being dealt to absolute mid with this AK. It's going to be a full buy. Yo going... I'm oh, sorry. Yo, getting the kill on absolute. Absolute going down in mid. That's going to be the AWP dropped on the CT side with no damage being dealt onto the Patriots. A good start from them. And actually another kill in mid, and that's going to be yet another Nick getting two from Connector. And he's going to push straight. That's going to be Rohan actually pushing straight into CT, picking up the rotator. I'm just done his down. And now it is all up to High, who is currently sitting on Cat. He picks up one. Yo going down. That's the AWP out of the hands of the Patriots. Although, as I say, that James is going to pick it up. Bray not picking up anything, wasting a decent amount of ammo. Almost getting hit with that op shot in the smoke. Over high. Looks like he's going to like to hold on to this M4 into the next round. As looking at the economy, it is very low on every player on the team. He will not be able to buy up, although lost bonus will definitely help, as that's going to make it three rounds lost in a row. Nick so low next to high. Too bad he doesn't know. I think he, he did just hear him, though, as he jumped out of a uh, window. But he is just going to hold the angle on the ladder there. I'm not sure. Is he on top of the ladder, or is he still on the ladder? I think it looks like he's on he's top on of it. Ladder. He's on top of the ladder. Yeah, because if he was if he was on it, anyone who comes to rush him might be met with a botch spray, though. So, looks like Patriots are going to pick up the 12th round again in in the lead again, this time by two rounds. They only need four more to win. It looks like they are going to take a pause real quick here. Maybe yeah, it's this is about the time they're going to be doing it. They were doing so well, and now we're just seeing them make mistakes in these rounds, these small mistakes that are costing them... Uh, these rounds here, and they're getting ripped apart. And now they're gonna probably, most likely, gonna be on either a broken buy or a semi save here, buying most likely pistols or very small SMGs. And oh, it's actually on the side of Patriots trying to fix lag on Rohan. 
So this is actually a tech pause on Patriots. Oh yeah, he spiked up to 160 there. It looks like. Wow. Yeah, I think he's been he's been spiking pretty much all game. All right, looks like they're done here. Rohan's ping isn't back to normal. Maybe he's just having an issue here. Patriots want to remove the pause here. Looking for the Titans to confirm the pause needs to be removed here. Looks like the Titans finally are going to realize that they are the ones who have to do the unpause. As we get into round 23. Yeah, round 23 going live here as we're going to be seeing, yeah, like I thought, the M4 with pistols on the rest of the team. Two of them actually not buying. I'm just on an absolute both electing to not purchase any anything in this round. And it's going to be a very, it's pretty much in the hands of Patriots unless High here with his M4 could do something. And they look like they are banking on this A push again, which it looks like they are going to be seeing a full set up the bomb. Yep, here it goes. The full push coming out. Rohan and Jeans pick up one. Able to pick up Rohan on the Nick and Hero skill and drops everybody else. Immediately, it is already all up to High, who looks like, for whatever reason, he wants to hold on to this M4, despite them going to be on Lost Bonus into the next round. He could try to do something, although probably won't get anything done anyway. He should have heard Nick. He spots him out, gets the kill. He's going to upgrade to an AK. And now he has to run. It. It's going to be. It looks like it is going to be another round for the Patriots here. Slowly pulling ahead. Now they will only need three rounds to take the match here. Titans are going to need to do something about this. Next, Going to the next round, I believe they'll have enough for like full SMGs on... No, no, actually, there'll be an almost a full loss bonus there. Almost. So they'll have enough for maybe the M4s. They will have enough for M4s, ops, everything be able to full buy here and they'll definitely need to do that because they have a long road to climb to get back up yeah it is going to be a very long road to climb back up here 13 to 10 patriots are getting close and that's going to be four rounds in a row and we're finally seeing another gun round we're going to be to see what we're able to see done op shot attempted in mid from absolute actually being dropped down to 68 hp because nobody's able to pick up any picks into mid. Abs Absolute actually hasn't been very lucky with those shots or anything. He hasn't been able to hit them yet, though. Has been pretty well with them. He just took out yeah, yeah, Lou S. As I see chat complaining that we're calling him Lewis. Lou S. The Rohan actually picking up a double kill and Nick picking up a kill of his own here. Dropping down to Absolute, the last person alive here. In market, misses the shot onto Nick with 21 health, and he gets taken out with the headshot. 14-10, Titans slowly falling away. They had a really strong beginning of a half. They won four in a row, putting, or almost putting Patriots onto the full loss bonus there. But now they themselves are on the full loss bonus with five rounds lost, or five rounds since their last round win, and they're going to have to take it because one more round win for the Patriots and they're playing for the tie here, since there is no overtime in regular season HSEL matches. Actually, Nick is going to get caught out by Rohan's head shot spray there. They're not necessarily playing for the tie right now. They're actually getting taken. Ooh, Lewis. If they bring this back, it's going to be tough, though. Oh, Lewis getting a kill. Rohan getting another kill as well. Du yeah, getting a double kill. But I'm just done trading him out. Dreams with a double kill, and I'm just... And also getting another kill. Patriots now with 15 rounds. This could very well be match point here for the Patriots. Titans are going to have to win five in a round, though, which is going to be hard, it looks like, with this economy here. Just about $4,000 on all their players here. Not all of them are going to have the, uh, like, Tier 3 rifles. Or Tier 2 rifles that we're used to seeing. And the Patriots are just going to push right onto A-site. They're playing very passively, the Titans. I kind of like to see this, but hopefully it pays off for them. So they have three singing A spawn here. Nick getting one kill on the freeze, but then getting traded out by Lou S. 4v4 here. Bomb going down. They know that there's players in A site there, and they know there's one in connector as well. Dream's getting caught out here. Ooh, another player went down there. I missed it. Two players going down. I'm just done. 
It's just dreams and hero skill last alive now. Hero skill getting one kill for himself, but I'm just done and an absolute getting the kills here to take the bomb defusal. Titans finally picking up a round, making the score 15 to 11. Though they do have to win four straights for the tie. Yeah, yeah, they did have a good round here, 15 to 11, like you said. But that 15 Patriots. They need to win one more, and the showing in this half has been phenomenal. Their T side has been very strong, and it's going to be a very long and painful road for these Titans to pick up these four rounds if they want to be able to bring the tie into this game. But at the same time, Patriots don't really have to really worry too much. They've got a pretty decent economy still. Look at a hero skill with $9,600 left. He can buy for three more teammates, even if they lose this round, which he might have to if they lose, because Nick sitting on that $50 so now. And Yaw getting taken out by I'm just done there. That mid was that? Was that mid? Yeah, it was mid. He was top mid, and I'm just done took him out from connector here. Bomb is kind of in apartments here, but they haven't really made any commitments here. Looks like the players are going to start to rotate out here, even from Titans starting to rotate onto the mid and B site. Got players on cat, players in bottom mid. Might be high who might go through underpass. On the flank, the rush starts to come out here, and Titans, they know they're preparing for absolute backing off from Arches. They have technically given them site control, but that might do well for them if they want to keep their players alive. Nick getting a kill, but they're getting trained out of I'm just done's nade here. This flank from high. Yeah, high on the flank yeah. here. Could be the, yeah, it could be the hero they need getting a kill onto Dreams, making this a 2v4, make that a 2v1, 4v1, make that a 4v none Dreams as Titans. Yeah, as Titans pick up a 12th round, making the score 15-12, three rounds they have to win, making this very doable as they begin to hurt the economy of the Patriots here. But as I said, Hero Skill, who's at $1,200 or $12,600, can buy like three or four AKs for his team. So yeah, they're still in pretty good spot. The Patriots will pretty much be able to buy into the rest of this game. For the most part, they will be able to most likely buy in the next round if they lose it due to the loss bonus as well as whatever kill bonuses they get. Um, it's not going to be a full buy, but they'll be able to buy that on to the 13th if they want to. Uh, they will still have to be able to buy into the next round if they lose that. But they're pretty much set economy-wise. They did spend a bit more than I thought they would into this round, but it's, again, this is going to be another tough round for Titans that are, they're going to have to pull through. Leah and... High looking at you at the smoke, no kills. Ooh. Good opening for High. He's gonna pick up two and escape with his life. Drop down to 46 HP. That's a great opening from Titan. This is exactly what they needed. Three versus five. The bomb is down. They know exactly where these T's are. Yeah, watching for it. He's not gonna spot it out. The peak. High. Taking some risky peaks. They know yeah has been on that AWP. At least they should. And they should know he's still sitting at mid because of that bomb. And they're gonna spot him out. They know he's in mid now. One more player. Yeah. Last alive. He can he finish it off solo. That's going to be a no. 15 to 13. Titans staying alive. Be bring it very, very close to time. This should most likely be an eco or a semi buy. They'd be able to buy in the last round if need be. Hey, Hero Skill actually still on a ton of money, though, with that $7,300. Could still very well buy for his team. Looks like they aren't. They're just going to opt for the eco to play for the final round. We, it, it was either this round or the next round they were buying. Other than that, they, they what did know. what did we say, Brandon? This is going to be a very good game, and it's, so far it has not disappointed. So far, as we come into the 29th round here, it looks like the Patriots are going to kind of make their way towards a spot. They have a player top mid, just kind of watching, make sure they don't get flanked. Player in spawn there, the mom making sure no one comes from Palace, and very good positioning from the CTs as well. They've got the standard setup here. And they haven't really made their way onto site here. They're the Patriots. I think they're they might be waiting for a pick. They might be waiting for one of the Titans to to get a little bit uh, anxious and uh, rush them. But Freeze is in this great position. He's been in every single round almost, where he's able to catch the players that come out of a ramp here. So let's see if he can do it again. He probably will here. Patriots are getting a little bit antsy there. So yeah, a bunch of players moving around over there in. T spawn freeze. Yeah, with this, yeah, that smoke is going to definitely delay them coming out of Palace here. They haven't really made any decisions here. 
bomb now in Palace itself. See what they do. It looks like the Patriots are waiting to down to make it down to the wire to push out into that site. Whereas the yeah. Titans just need to wait out 28 seconds, just maybe throw some nades. It looks like the push is going to start to come out. Rohan picks up a one teague onto Lou S. Yeah, getting the kill onto Freeze, who is sitting under scaffolding here. Bomb is down now, and now the Titans have to play retake, but still 3v5 against just pistols and one M4. So this is still very doable as they are in CT now. Yeah, getting taken down to 15. He's fired. I'm lagging pretty bad there. I don't know if it's me or if it's him, but. I'm just done getting, picking up Nick and getting a double kill onto Ya, yeah, and then High taking out Rohan, making this suddenly a 3v2 here. Making it a 3v1 as I'm just done picks up another kill. Dreams last alive. High picking him up, making it 15 14 AES HS. Final round, round 30. We often don't see this in HSEO games, not, at least not in the games we've streamed recently. Down to the wire here. Patriots have to win. One round to take the match, and Titans have to win one round to tie it up. Chat, let me see. Who do you think is going to win this final round here? Yeah, this is one more round. Down to the wire. 15-14. Guns in the hands of everybody. Guys, let me get some hype in the chat. This is the last round. Second to last. Last round of the game. That is the second to last round of this HSEL major. Ooh. Absolute pick up the opening kill on the Yuh. Uh, headshot through the wall. That's going to be a great opening for him. They're actually going to be holding back with that bomb. Four versus five. Again, guns on everybody. Then almost getting a kill on the Rohan through the wall. It's not going to happen, though. Four players left into this B side. That spray fire is going to hold them back. They're set up and ready to go. Looks like they are going to commit to this site. As nobody is quite rotating yet from the CTs, they look like they want to. They're gravitating off of that A site, ready to rotate quick if they do push. Although it looks like they are going to be holding back on to this B site. Smokes are out in the hands of these players. It looks like it is going to be a setup on the B. They're just waiting. It looks like it's going to be a 30-second rush like we saw in the previous round. They did a good damage with the pistols. Let's see what they can do with these rifles. That smoke might delay it a little bit there. Um, it's too deep. Ooh, absolute. Getting the first pick here, but he's being fired out slowly. Getting another kill right before he drops down. Don Dreams is suddenly a 5v2 here, and it slips out of the hands of the Patriots. Slowly, Nick picking up a kill. Not quite yet, though. As Lewis gets taken down, making this a 4v2 here. Bomb in underpass now as they make their way towards Connector. Freeze is going to catch out Hero Skill in mid. He's going to get traded up by Nick, who's now at 10, H 10 HP with the bomb and underpass. He has no map control at all. 10 HP. With seven seconds left. He, he, seven seconds left, he's not going to have time for anything. So as Clockwind is down and, and Titans win the round, GG, 15-15. A draw on time. What a game we saw down to every last second of this match. Running out of time, 15-15. Fantastic game, fantastic showing from all players. There's really nothing bad to say about this game. All players doing very well in this game. Almost 30 on high, 29 and 18. It was just a great game. Absolutely. Wow. <sighs> yeah, really, really not much to say. It was, it was looking really bad for Titans, but they were able to bring it back in the end. Really tied up, bring it all the way back, and Patriots just not able to find what they needed to close out the game. That tie, that pause, that tech pause really Sickle. I think allowed everybody to relax, let everybody get back into the game, and game over from that point on. Real quick, I just want to take a look at the stats really quickly here. Player statistics: High actually coming in top of the leaderboard in the ser or top of the server here with 29 kills and 18 deaths with that 1.61 KD ratio here. Nick coming in second on Patriots with 25 kills and 20 deaths. Then yeah, and I'm just done. And the rest of everyone. Actually, I want to point out though, we have a hero skill with the 17 kills and 21 deaths with actually a 58. Or 59% headshot ratio. Which is insane. I, I was noticing there were lots of headshots. Lots of fantastic plays. These players are very good. These are the kinds of players that we're going to be seeing in Nationals. Potentially, these are guys who would excel 
at this level. And right now, I believe both of these teams are pretty high up on the leaderboard. I haven't been, I didn't get a chance to look because I uh, got in here late on the power outage, but these, lots of potential on these players. I'll say that right now. Yeah, and then at the same time, we have, wait, we can't forget, of course, Yuz, incredible op ace in mid there. Oh, Play man. Right there. That, yeah, definitely. If, if this had a play of the game, it would certainly be there. Hopefully, um, we will see that clip in the folder shortly, so you guys will be able to see that on stream here. But uh, that's all for me right now. Brennan, how about you? Got any closing no, remarks? I really just, again, fantastic from all players, all sides, and a tie on time and nothing more that was down to the wire and uh, again fantastic game and it's yeah very good there's yeah nothing and, much to say it was just amazing yeah it, it was pretty great so we want to thank you all so much for watching this match uh round 11 of the high school esports league fall 2017 major csgo edition i guess we would call this one uh but please stay tuned everyone um this is not the end of the stream today in one hour we will be back with another csgo game ghs glendora versus htec wolfpack and we'll be joined with our casters cannon hop and uh rohan actually who you just saw play in that game so thank you so much, everyone, and please stay tuned.